The Tigers make two changes. It's the two players who were subbed off at half time, and they're demoted to the bench again from kickoff. So Ozan Tufan and Sean McLaughlin drop out, replaced by the two who came on to replace them at the break. Jason Lakilo and Cyrus Christie freshening up the right hand side, meaning Captain Louis Coyle will shift over to left back. Jacob Greaves in the middle, partnering Alfie Jones, Ryan Alsop in goal, Morton and Seri in the holding midfield positions, Lakilo right wing, Philogene on the left, with Scott Twine behind Liam Delap in the opening 11 for the Tigers. Matt Ingram, Sean McLaughlin, Ozan Tufan, Greg Doherty, Adama Traore, Harry Vaughan, Andy Smith, Regan Slater is named on the bench, a big inclusion, and Aaron Connolly across the defence towards Alfie Jones. Christie pushing on on that right-hand touchline, but Jones checks the other way and plays now two Greaves. Rotherham look like they're playing a little bit of a higher line compared to Huddersfield, despite the talk that they might park the bus in the early stages and look to protect the scoreline of nil-nil for as long as possible. But they're not really putting any pressure on the defence of Hull as Jones tries to slide it through towards the lap. Back passes a poor one and De Lapp, he's been caught by Johansson. It's going to come to Tyler Morton. And Hull City, after four minutes, have put themselves in front. And it is a defensive mishap which has caused problems for Rotherham United. It's no wonder they can see goals with defending of that calibre. And Tyler Morton, four minutes gone. What a week it has been for him. And Lakilo now just having a couple of uh, temptations to pass the ball through, but holds on to it as Christie receives on the right hand touch line. And Christie will actually bump the ball off Reva. Spots Lakilo in a pocket on the edge of the area right side. Cross is delivered into the area. Up goes to Lap. And Philogene might get onto a loose ball. He flicks it through and he scored! We've only played eight and a half minutes and Hull City are 2-0 to the good already. And again, Rotherham United, architects of their own downfall. The cross from Lakilo was nodded simply into the ground in the six-yard box and Philogene was the most alert. Jones will play towards Jacob Greaves. And once again, Liam Rossini, every time play restarts in the back line, Liam Rossini moves out towards the technical area to uh, make sure that he is playing a part in getting this ball out of the defence and up into the forwards lines as Jones has tried to play a cute ball towards Morton. And he's onside, Morton, clever flick. Here's De Lapp, huge save, but it's going to be tacked in by Scott Twine. Hull City running riot against Rotherham and Scott Twine will not get an easier finish possibly in his entire career and Morton back towards Greaves still the Olays ring out from uh, to my left hand side as Greaves now halts the passing and decides to do it all himself and Twine's going to find Greaves he's in the area Greaves oh what a turn oh what a save though by Johansson and Jacob Greaves skittled his way between midfield and defence, linked up with Twine, moved it onto his right foot, and a side foot finish would have sufficed. The noise in the MKM Stadium would have been amplified tenfold if Greaves had made it 4-0. As Christie and Lakilo still in possession, Morton will the... Uh, sequence of passes break down not yet Seri in behind to Lakilo and he's in behind the defence here Jason Lakilo tries to play it across it might pop to Twine breaks now 4-0 Philogene with a brace it's just a shame that somebody in a grey shirt got in the way of that amount of passes because it might have ended up being a record for Hull City but Jaden Philogene won't mind one bit because Philogene has a brace and it's taken very little time at all again for Hull City. Goals at the beginning of each half. Will we see another capitulation from Rotherham in this second 45? Hull City 4, Rotherham United 0. Here's Seri, Philogene demanding it on the left-hand side, receives it off Coyle now, 
as the midfield tucks in to join the defence of Rotherham. Philogene, low ball into the area, not dealt with. Lakilo, big save from Johansson. Lakilo did everything right, judged it well, left footage, struck from 10 yards or so. The half stand having a bit of a squeal as the corner is taken short, lifted in by Rathbone. It's a neat flick and it should be 4 1, and it is. And Grant Hall will take the plaudits. Simple header for him from six yards or so. And that will annoy Liam Rossini because in a game where really they've had very little in terms of attacking opportunity. The consolation goal arrives on potentially 59 minutes. It's should be maybe more hesitant to say that there's an hour, uh, half an hour still to go, but Grant Hall with the goal. And Lakilo is the one on corner duty. Morton waiting at the corner of the penalty area on this near side touchline. Two fan moving into the six yard box. There's another four making movements as it's angled towards the back post. A lapse header. What a save by Johansson on his near post, pushing it away two handed. And he's in charge of keeping the scoreline down now, the Swede.